Good morning, everybody. It is 7 o'clock Monday morning. It's been a controversial move, but will NHS workers be able to carry on working without having a mandatory vaccine? Murmurs of a possible decision this morning reversing the government's position. So what about those who've already lost their jobs for refusing to get one? We'll talk to the frontline health worker who challenged the health secretary over it. That's at 9.20. Plus, with the Russian invasion of Ukraine, highly likely, what will it take to stop President Putin? We'll ask the Chief Secretary to the Treasury, Simon Clark, plus the Shadow Attorney General, Emily Thornbury. It's Monday, the 31st of January. Whether you're watching us in Singapore or South Africa this morning, you're very welcome. A new warning on AstraZeneca. Hello, everybody. How are you all feeling? We'll get you through the morning. Don't you worry. We start this morning with rumours of a big U-turn. It's been reported that mandatory COVID vaccinations for healthcare workers will be scrapped amid warnings of a severe staffing crisis if the policy goes ahead. The Department of Health telling us they don't deny the report. The deadline for NHS staff to have their second dose is the 1st of April, or they risk losing their jobs. That means that in order to meet the deadline, they must get their first dose by this Thursday, the 3rd of February. 77,000 NHS staff in England could be impacted with women and ethnic minorities the hardest hit. The policy came into effect for care workers in November and around 40,000 are thought to have lost their jobs. OK, let's talk about it in more detail, should we? Katie's joining us this morning with the details. Hi, Katie. Good morning. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. So it's not been denied. No, it hasn't. So uh, last night the government was questioned about this policy and they did not deny, as you say, to lose their jobs. Now, we've heard from the Royal College of Nursing about this uh, potential client. Workers are thinking about that, so we'll speak to you in the next hour. Thanks so much indeed. Thanks a lot. What about the papers? Good morning. Thank Kate. you so much for joining us on the programme this morning. Let's start with those codes.